Hello again and welcome back to The Front Row, a minor production of the First Congregational Church in South Deacon, where our intent is to bring snippets from our Sunday morning message into your week. Yesterday we talked about Caesar Augustus and his decree that a census must be taken. That's what forced Joseph and Mary to have to go to Bethlehem, the city of David, for the fulfillment of a prophecy. The next group of people that we are introduced to are the shepherds. Shepherds are low on the social totem pole. They work day and night. They're laborers in the field. They hang out with sheep. They're probably pretty stinky people. Uh, they, um, they're not ones you're going to invite to the party very often. But that's not God's M.O. God brings them to the party, and not only are they invited, but they become the earliest proclaimers of the arrival of the Messiah. If you read closely in chapter 2, after they are called by the angels and they actually experience the Savior's birth, they go out and tell everyone about what they have seen and heard. There's a message in there for you and I, folks. Have we experienced the life of Jesus so deeply within us that we can't help but tell people about it? Of course, they were also uh, visited by angels. That's a pretty big deal. They're out watching their flocks by night, and they are visited by uh, what many believe is Gabriel, the angel. And then, of course, this, his host of the, ar the armies of God are singing this proclamation, glory to God in the highest peace on earth goodwill toward men. It's what we see in the classic Christmas story, of course, but there's so much more depth and richness to what actually happened if you just start to read between the lines and appreciate who the shepherds were, the impact of the angelic visit, and then to them to actually witness Mary and Joseph and Jesus, and then when they leave to go and tell everybody about it. It's a pretty amazing story, really, and there's a lot that we cannot read on the page, but we can imagine. Just imagine with me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Blessings to you. Bye-bye for now.